Hi all, uh, welcome to my channel and a new video. In this video, I am going to talk about best master's degree programs that you can study in Australia to get your permanent residency easily and quickly. Many students who come to Australia for their higher studies at their master level are having intentions to stay back in Australia long term on the basis of a permanent residency visa. So this will be helpful for those students who are having those intentions. And along with this, I am going to add a few tips which will help you to improve your chances to get your permanent residency towards the end of the video as well. So now we'll see the list of courses that will help you to get your permanent residency easy. The first program is Masters in Agriculture. So after completing your Masters in Agriculture, you can apply for PR as an agriculture scientist or an agriculture consultant. This is actually occupational demand list, listed occupation. If you're having a bachelor's degree in agriculture, botany, biotechnology, etc., you can actually get into this program. There are many universities offering this program Australia wide. The second program is Masters in Engineering. It can be civil, uh, mechanical, chemical, uh, electrical, electronics, or even biomedical engineering. All of them are occupations in migration demand list. So you have the opportunity to get permanent residency once you complete this program. The third program is Masters in Food Technology. Once you complete this program, you can actually apply for permanent residency as a food scientist or a food technologist. This is also demand list listed occupation. That means you can actually apply for permanent residency once you complete this program. So if you are having a bachelor degree in food technology, chemistry, biochemistry, microbiology, you can apply for this program and get into this program. This is a good program if you are having a bachelor degree in life sciences and get into a professional level, uh, this can be a good choice for you. And also you have the opportunity to get your permanent residency as well. The fourth program is Masters in Clinical Audiology. Uh, this is also one of the most sought after professionals in Australia and which is also on the migration demand list. If you are having a bachelor's in any health sciences or even dentistry or even uh, if you are having a bachelor's in engineering, computer science, physics, etc. You can get into this program. You have to make sure that it's an accredited course by Audiology Australia so that you can get audiologist registration once you complete the program. The fifth program is Masters in Nursing Graduate Entry. So you might not be aware that if you have completed any bachelor's degree, you can actually do a Masters in Nursing in Australia and get registered as a nurse here. So Graduate Entry Master of Nursing programs are good option if you are looking to get into nursing after completion of any degree. And nursing definitely is an in-demand occupation and also on migration demand list as well. You have plenty of opportunity to apply for your permanent residency once you complete the program. So Masters in Nursing Graduate Entry is a much recommended option. The sixth option would be Masters in Occupational Therapy. Masters in Occupational Therapy which will help you to become an Occupational Therapist. These are also pre-registration programs. If you are having a Bachelor's in Sociology, Psychology or any Health Sciences, you can actually get entry into this program. This, uh, this occupation is also on Migration Demand List. So you have the opportunity to get a permanent residency once you complete the program. Next program is Masters in Physiotherapy. The Masters in Physiotherapy also help you to become a physiotherapist if you are taking an entry level or graduate entry program. If you are having a bachelor's degree in health sciences in any field, you can actually become a physiotherapist by doing a two-year graduate entry master's program in physiotherapy. This is also a profession in huge demand and on the migration demand list, which means you can become a permanent resident in Australia once you complete the program. The next program is Masters in Social Work. Social workers are also in huge demand in Australia. Once you complete their program, you can become a social worker, which is also in demand list. Make sure that you choose AASW accredited courses so that you can become a social worker straight away after you complete the program. Same apply for graduate entry nursing program, occupational therapy program and also physiotherapy program. Make sure they are APRA accredited program so that you can become a registered healthcare professionals once you complete the program. So that is very mandatory requirement when you take the course that is accreditation. So the next one is uh, Masters in Medical Laboratory Sciences. This is also in huge demand. There are only few universities offering accredited program. It should be AIMS accredited programs. So, so that you know you can get your accreditation or registration as a medical laboratory scientist once you complete this program. You have opportunity to get your permanent residency as a medical laboratory scientist once you complete this program. And this is also on migration demand occupation list. 
and the last program is masters in actuarial sciences masters in actuarial sciences will help you to become an actuary this is also on migration demand occupation list if you are having a background in mathematics or even statistics you can actually opt for this program which will help you to get your permanent residency after the completion of your studies apart from this course selection there are few other things that can help you to get your permanent residency as well so the first thing would be studying in a regional area because in the migration a uh, point calculator if you have studied your program in a designated regional area you will get additional five points you can utilize that if you study in a designated regional area you might be able to get additional stay back as well so if you have finished a master's degree on a base you will get three years stay back but if you have completed your uh, you know studies from a designated regional area you may be able to get additional one or two years of stay back depending upon the place of your university third important thing that you have to keep in mind is that make sure you know what is the skill assessment requirement for your occupation once you complete your program because in australia to get your migration or pr skill assessment is a mandatory requirement and you have to be aware what all requirements are there to get your skill assessment next tip is that you can actually choose states which are peer friendly some of the states are better in terms of helping international students to get their permanent residency for example southern australia even western australia tasmania northern territory all these states are better if you are looking to get your permanent residency after your studies these states actually support the international students to settle down in those states these states are friendlier in terms of giving uh, state nominations and territory nominations these are few additional tips that you can keep in mind to help you to get your permanent residency easier when you come to study in australia i hope you like this video and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and i'll be back with more interesting videos thank you